What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Burley Fishing. Today we are trying to do a box slam, sack slam? A sack slam for the six cents, super six sack. Why don't you say it fast? No. All right, she tried. <laughs> Mrs. Burley Fishing is here. She's having a great old time. She's just reading her Kindle. And uh, I'm gonna be fishing all these six cents baits. So our goal today is to catch a fish on everything that came in that premium super six sack. Got a lipless here. We've got two square bills, uh, the fat boy. We got the, I think I got the red guy already tied on. So, you know, see if we can slam some fishies, get some largemouth bass here, have a dang good time. My goal is to catch a fish on every bait that came in the box or sack rather, right? Show you guys that it's very fishable stuff. Uh, if you like the content, be sure to subscribe, smash that like button, ring that notification bell so you see when we post more videos and trust me, there's more coming your way. Uh, stay tuned for other unboxings and then we'll be testing those boxes when we hit the water. Super pumped about this guys, come along with me, let's have a good time. There we go, check this out boys. So this is that black light swim jig, threw on that white paddle tail, divine swim bait. Oh, I think it looks money. We're gonna try and hammer some fish here real quick. So we're just swimming this. A little more subtle, just hoping to run into a tank. Got a few tanks today already. Let's start getting some tanks on the six cents box, eh? Yo, <laughs> just on, on the plop, <laughs> this guy. Are you kidding me? That is a double whammy bait right there, boys. That's a double whammy. So, oh God. Not only did we knock out that black light swim jig, we also got the divine swim. Oh man, decent, dude. All the bass in here today have been decent. Look at the belly. That's gnarly. Definitely not as long as other ones we've had today. I'm gonna get them back because I just swapped my pad right there. Later, man. Oh, shoot, shoot, on the drop with the black light, black light, black magic. I probably called it black magic. I think it's called the black light. Whew. It's one of two jigs to knock out in this box. I heard him splashing around in these bushes here. And I was like, oh, I'll just throw a cast over there as soon as it hit the water. Like as soon as it hit the water. Boom. I ain't mad. He counting attorney. This thing looks mint. This thing is super solid looking. One jig down, boys. Easy peasy that one was. And we got the slightly lighter. Good for the stain though. Got that hybrid jig next. Alright, what's the play here boys? We gotta eat lunch here. I think we need that expedite the process so we're gonna throw something that matches the hatch this definitely matches the bait fish in the water i believe it's just gonna look like it's dirty i think the shade is the play they're following out of that shade it's the nice thing about the hybrid jig too is like Swim jig's not as good at this, but hybrid jig you can flip pretty easily. So I can swim this thing, and then I can pause, let it sink, uh, turn my boat a little bit. Flip it like a flipping jig. See if I can get a reaction strike out of that, maybe. Come on, baby boy. Alright, so. Next up, we got a lipless bait. Matches more of the uh, fish they might be feeding on. Big vibe. Decent rattle. And all you want to do to fish these is run it right into cover, especially like tall grass like this, and then rip it. Grip it and rip it. It's great for open water fishing, but it can work really well 
if you rip it through the grass, that's like when you get the reaction strike on these. Which you gotta love. All right, we're gonna burn through this like section here. See there, so we're caught up in some grass. Just gotta rip through. Uh, or not. Never mind. <laughs> Kelpie type stuff. Nah, not so easy to rip through, huh? Oh yeah, that is. Whew. I'll just keep it moving higher in the water column then. Alright, I'm gonna speed around the island here. Is that a fish? That's a fish. Oh my god. No. It was a bluegill, I think. I could not even tell that I was on. That was a fish. Damn it. Oh well. Try again. I was like, right on the fall. Yo, we on, boys. Don't shake it. Don't shake it. Rock bass. That's what... Oh, that's what it was. He's in the boat. We got him in the boat. We got him in the boat. Oh, man. That's what it was. The last one was too, for sure. Oh, man. Why is so freaking hard to get out of the hole? Got him. Jeez. That was a... Uh... A hell of a fight. All right, that was on the uh, the lipless, uh, the Quake 70 right there. It'll catch you rock bass. All right, later, guy. Whew. Man, what the hell? So that was the the other catch we had too. It was probably the same thing. Oh man. I got that rear treble, they're so hard to land. All right, we are smashing through this challenge, boys. So we are gonna have to uh, change up baits here again. Uh, what do I, oh, I'll fish the other square bill. Let's do that. So same, actually the same color pattern too. So we actually have a decent shot. So, so far we knocked out the swim bait, the jig, and the quake. We come back to the flat-sided square bill in a moment. Spider, lay down. Jeez. Uh, where is it? There it is. So now we got the fat body rattling square bill. I think this is perfect for this water. Just crushing boxes this month, though, man. MTB is going to have some stuff to fight against. So far, everything out of the Monster Bass and Six Cents boxes has caught fish. <laughs> just about, just about. I'd say it's a 70 30. It's like 70% of the baits have caught fish. Which is legit. It's a pretty dang good ratio, I would say. For Six Cents, we've got this hybrid jig. Four baits left. We have the square bill, hybrid jig, divine shaky, something else. Can't remember. Yo. On on the hybrid jig. Oh man. In the boat. Count it. Oh boys. We did it on that hybrid jig. Right in the top of the mouth. Perfect. Dude, decent one. Another decent one. This one's a, I mean, it would count an attorney. 13 and a half. 13 and a half ain't bad. Oh man. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Hybrid jig checked off. Square bill's next. We are down to this square bill, the big shaky worm. Oh, something else that I can't remember. No idea. Don't care, we'll get to it. Let's see if we can knock out this square bill before lunch. Yo, are you kidding me? Freaking tank. Oh man, he, oh, he's running. Oh, he's running good. Oh, he is running so good. No, 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 no. He's in the boat. He's mine. Oh, 
shoot, son. Another freaking tank for the day. Oh, God. Oh, boys, boys. Hey, let me try and get out of danger real quick. Oh, my gosh. It was like the very next cast. Are you freaking joking me? Okay. Let me just get my measuring board again, guys. Okay. Whew. F 15. 15 on this one. Right in the light. There you go, bud. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Wow. Well, this is all the fishing I'm getting today, so I'm going to just stay out a little bit longer. I think. Holy cow. Holy cow. Okay, there's only one body bait left in this kit. And that's this boy right here. Let's see if we knock her out. And we'll save some time later for that shaky worm. All right, so we're back. This is actually the first one I was throwing earlier on in the day. This is that lava truce. It's like red and chartreuse color. Make sure my drag is locked down here. Yeah, it is. So all that's left is the Divine Shaky, right? Which I got to rig up on this. And I got to just throw the big old purple worm on it. Big purple worm. We can shaky head it, of course. I think I'm going to Texas rig it. I think that's the whole six cents box, man. That's nuts. It would be nuts to knock out six cents this fast. This is actually going to be really tough. Um, what was I going to do? Shaky head would be tough here, too. It's a problem I have right now. Not quite sure how to rig this. Weightless. Let's just go weightless. All right. New plan, guys. We're going to go weightless on this worm. And it's going to work. Hang tight. Okay, boys, they say a weightless purple worm is cheat codes. I say we're going to find out. This might be how we have to do this one. Right under that dock. Shut up if that worked. Oh, dang. Wow. Wow. Something pulled on it. Oh, man. Something bite it. Oh, my gosh. What is that? Is it just the weeds? It could be just a leaf, but it feels like a fish tugging it down. What is happening? Oh my god, you guys. The weightless purple worm is. Ah! Something just ate it. They gotta be little. They're not getting it in their mouth. <laughs> Something just bit my worm. No! <laughs> that divine shaking. <laughs> oh my gosh. The spot has fish. I don't think they're big enough to eat it. Case in point, I just allowed a bluegill, probably, or a baby bass to bite my gigantic seven inch worm in half. Okay. Oh 
more, Mr. Nice Guy. Texas with like a little bigger hook is getting some freaking looks right now. I mean, granted, I need to land something on it. Purple worm, purple trick worm, weightless. Is that a secret move nobody told me about? Fish all over the thing. Yeah, they're all bluegill. If one gets it in its mouth and then I set the hook. That, that is why I'm missing them, because they're too tiny. Alright, but what if I go out? What if I go right there? Let's, let's let it fall right there. Slow, deadly fall, a duck, super shallow. There's the gillies, still. Okay. Yo, there he is, there he is, there he is. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Uh, come here, come here, bud, come here, bud, come here, bud, come here, bud, come here, bud. Yes! <gasps> the slam! It's the slam! <laughs> Boys, not only was that a secret, but this is a Beautiful freaking bass. Oh my god. The freaking tank. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Are you kidding me? Nobody told you, but guess what? Purple worm. Weightless. Cheat codes, baby. This is a gosh dang good looking bass. Nice clear water release. Thanks for the fun, Mr. Bass. Thank you, sir. Oh, my gosh. What a freaking day, dude. All right, I'm going to rack this because now there's only one bait left that I can fish right now. If the top water turns on tonight, I'm going to have two slams in one day. Because uh, you guys don't know this, but <laughs> this is one of two slams I'm filming right now the so six cents it's down to one this i did not think this would be the hardest one for me to land on this lake but apparently it is get out to six seven feet of water guarantee where i started i can get something on this so i think we're gonna work back there throw a weightless worm it's so dope but the bottom is just covered in vegetation so the texas just gets buried you know like it just doesn't work so then you rig a stick bait weightless you can wacky rig it and it'll fall like side to side or you can texas which is what i just had and it'll like pause and then turn and then slowly go straight down like a pencil dive that was awesome like a newer technique for me to land a fish on it so good so good oh my gosh yo <laughs> All we need is to pull one out on the lava trees and we are done with the six cents box. <gasps> Yo, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Yes, 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 yes. In the boat. <laughs> what did I just say, boys? What did I just say? Oh my gosh. All we needed was you. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 Okay, okay. He got me, guys. He got me. He got me bad. Okay. Hang on, boys. This is gonna be fun. You say, you think I look bad? Should have seen this guy. Okay, 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 okay. He jumps in, honestly, it's probably fine. Okay. That, my friends, is all my blood on him. That right there is a real bad hook job. He got me good, he hooked my palm too. 
So that's what happens with sharp hooks if you're not being very safe like I wasn't. All right, so I gotta clean myself up, um, but this is gonna be maybe the thumbnail right here. <laughs> All right, later, Mr. Bass. Thanks, he, he just kicked me right in the face too. Okay, let's see how bad this is. Oh, he got me good. Oh, he got me good. Oh, he got me real good. Whew, okay. All right, we're done. We're leaving. Uh, I've literally ridiculous. I blood on my adventure pants, but I mean, they're adventure pants, so that's fine. Okay, so that was a hell of a time on the water. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I know, look at me, I'm like, this isn't on the water. This is not an outro that you're supposed to do on a fishing video, but guess what? I was so hungry that day, I just speed pedaled home, got my lunch, and then forgot to do an outro the rest of the trip. So here we are, this is one week later almost <laughs> that I'm actually filming the outro for this fishing trip. But I gotta tell you, man, I was super impressed with the Six Sense Premium Super Six Sack. Uh, lots of good baits in there. At, I am gonna throw a few of these into the giveaway this month. For that fat square bill, we had that lipless bait. We had this guy, the flat square bill. I'm gonna throw this one in the box, I think, actually. I've got enough red square bills. You guys get one of these. Uh, we had, this thing is dope. This black light swim jig, that purple and black. And we threw on just that, it's, not, uh, it's a little chewed up. She's a little chewed up, which makes sense. This thing caught quite a few fish, uh, but it's got that divine swim plastic on there. We had the hybrid jig. I think I'm gonna throw this in the box as well because I have one of the same color. So you guys are getting, whoever wins is gonna get this hybrid jig, uh, which I also tagged on that uh, divine swim plastic there. So that was awesome. And then we had that, the big purple trick worm, right? So, you know, seven good baits. They caught fish in rapid fashion. I think it took me an hour and 45 to knock this out. I was on a pretty good body of water. It's by no means like a stocked lake. Uh, but it is a good bass fishing lake and I had a gosh dang good time filming this. This video should be dropping on Monday. I'm going to do the giveaway video on Wednesday. Remember the rules were help me get that video to a thousand likes and make sure you comment on it. So we need you guys' help. Share the video up the wazoo. Show it to all your fishing friends. Say like, hey, you guys want to help me get tackle or do you want an opportunity to win tackle? Then you should, you know, like this video comment, be sure you subscribe to Burley Fishing and you got a chance to win it. Uh, so again, that's gonna include eight baits in a Plano box, as well as three bags of plastics. From the Six Cents box, I'm gonna throw you guys this one and we're gonna throw you the hybrid jig. This is a killer jig. You guys are gonna like it, whoever wins that. Uh, plastics, you saw my purple worms got chewed up. So I don't wanna give you a bag of plastics that's missing a couple worms. So I'm gonna find some full bags of plastics I can throw in there. Those are just gonna be a mystery, but all in all, from these three main boxes, Monster Bass, MTB, Six Cents, I'm gonna throw you guys a couple baits from each. So this is like the super sampler, if you will. Uh, but again, thanks for watching the video for the Six Cents Super Six Sack Slam, premium Super Six Sack. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe. We're gonna be doing a big mix of unboxings and fishing videos. I got subscribers sending me baits that you guys are gonna wanna see some cool custom baits. We'll take them out on the water, test them too. And we'll keep this rolling. I got lots of good stuff coming from Monster Bass as well. Stay tuned for all sorts of neat stuff and collaborations coming from that down the road. Hint, hint, it's gonna be fun. Uh, and. Yeah, be sure to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, ring that notification bell, do all the good stuff. Thanks for watching, Burley Bunch. We'll see you out on the water.